I've been working with tech nice. for years. Smith and Wesson. Yeah, yeah, for years. So oh, dope. Um, we put out two albums during the pandemic. Um, um, and I'm doing the Culture Pushers album right now with him and Flash. Oh, cool. Um, and yeah, I've been doing, you know, working with him solid for a long time. And, you know, uh, Fame, you know. Yep, MOP. Um, yeah. And uh, the list goes on and on. I recorded Neck Road a bunch of times. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, the list could keep going on and on and on. Yeah, I always wondered about, like, recording MOP because I'm like, how low do you have to put the volume? <laughs> oh, the preamp? Yeah, the when they're recording. You got to turn it. If it's at zero, I'll turn it one, one or two notches down and then just have them distance a little bit back and then bring the mic up a little bit and angle it because sound travels up. So oh, okay. You do it like that, and it sounds not. It sounds. It sounds perfect. Yeah, and you just perfect. let let them go off as 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 hard as they want. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's dope. I always like ever since I started listening to. Them, I have them, a template for him. I'm like, how do they? How do people record them? They just break the mic. <laughs> I have a template, so he likes to do it a certain type of a way. So okay. I, I I know how to record it. So and tech, he likes he likes certain things. Like he likes a certain swing on the vocal. Like when you when. When on the playback, like depending, you could switch it to an eighth note, you know, delay or or, or quarter note delay or something like that, and it's just like a little swing in the background while you know while you hear it back. Everybody's different. 